This is a sketching plane. White, flat, plane. Simple. Well, this is not just a sketching plane. This can be literally anything. It is the starting point of every solid model. What is a solid model? It is a three-dimensional representation of an object in a virtual space. This can be done using a computer, and nowadays modern computers can easily perform this task thanks to their computational power. Solid modeling is used in the design phase of almost every object that surrounds us. Cars, trains, buildings, dishwashers, bottles, drones, phones, and many more. Proper modeling is very important since it helps reduce design costs, accelerate product development, avoid oversight, and make sure that the final products will look like and fit as expected. Solid models can be fairly simple, while others can be extremely complex, depending on the level of detail needed. A small delivery truck that brings you your online order can be a relatively simple model, unless you have to create a solid model of its combustion engine with all its little moving parts. Many objects and vehicles require advanced complex solid models to be properly represented. For example, the structures used to analyze and design an airplane. The wings and fuselage cannot just have any shape. These profiles drive the performance of the aircraft. The airplane's engine can be even more complex. Just the compressor and turbine blades can be very challenging to model. Modern buildings with their beautiful and unique shapes are another example. Creating these curved shapes with a computer is not always trivial. Even industrial processes involve advanced solid modeling. For example, injection molding requires an accurate representation of the shape of the mold to get the correct final product. Or Modeling an entire production plant could be helpful to identify critical areas of the entire process, and that would require a lot of details to be captured. Even your gamepad requires some advanced modeling. Its shape is designed in such a way that it will be comfortable in the player's hand with buttons and sticks quickly and easily reachable by the fingers. Solid models are not just virtual images sitting in your computer to create a cool background. They are extremely useful and are the starting point of many real-world applications. Solid models can help understand if the initial design has some obvious flaws, so that they can be immediately corrected. For example, we can understand if different parts of a component will fit together before the production starts. Solid models are also used as the driving information for 3D printing processes. We can create geometry, define the inner structure that the printer will follow layer by layer, and finally obtain the object we desire. Nowadays, we can 3D print just about anything that comes to mind. You can print cups, guitars, medical models, and even clothes. Solid modeling can also be used for industrial processes. We can create molds for hot blow injection, where hot air is injected to stretch the material that then solidifies to give us the final object. Or molds for dye forging that are used to squeeze the material into the desired shape. That 
it's still a small part of all the possible uses of solid models. These three-dimensional models can also be used for engineering simulations. A model can be analyzed and tested on a computer to make sure that the design will behave as expected in the real world and to find ways to further improve the performance, reduce costs and make the products competitive. You can test if a structure will withstand a specific force without breaking, identify where the break may happen and improve the design. You can also analyze the performance of a sports car by studying how the hair will flow around it and estimating the drag it will generate. Then you could improve the shape of the car to get a better performance. These are just few examples. Solid models can be tested for many other applications. It transfer chemical reactions, electromagnetism, wireless communications, autonomous vehicles, and more. Knowing the basics of solid modeling is not enough to properly design and create a complex model. It is a good starting point, but advanced features are needed to make the building process fast, accurate, and successful. Sports car, helicopters, and body parts are examples of models that cannot be generated using simple geometric shapes, such as a prints cylinders, and so on. The curved geometries have unique shapes that must be defined and created using advanced tools to be extremely accurate. For example, if we look at a commercial airplane wing, we can see that the shape is not trivial. The wing can present different sweep angles and it's typically tapered meaning that the size of the wing at the root is larger than the wing tip. Also, the cross-section of a wing is what determines the aircraft performance. The shape cannot just be any shape. The profile must be accurately defined to make sure that the airplane generates enough lift to stay in the air while minimizing the drag. Any deviation from this selected shape could negatively affect the overall design. Sections of the wing at different locations can even present different profiles, making it necessary to smoothly transition from one section to the next one. Using basic tools may require numerous complex and lengthy operations to achieve the final geometry while using advanced features could let you take care of those steps in a blink of an eye. When dealing with complex geometry of this nature, the process to build the different parts of the model is essential. Even the order of the operations can make a difference while creating the desired geometry. Logical modeling, meaning thinking before modeling, it's very important. Before jumping into the process of building the models, we need to understand the tools available and plan how to use them. If you want to put a nail in the wall, you wouldn't use a pencil for that, right? That will make the task nearly impossible. You're probably thinking about using a hammer for that. Logical modeling follows the same concept you need to create a plan on how to build the model and define what tools to use. Let's take these components of a combustion engine as an example. First, divide the model into different components with different levels of complexity and focus on just one at a time. For example, the shaft, the pistons, the valves and the gears can be created separately and then assembled together. Then look at the model to identify the similarities and repetitions. Pistons, cams, valves, even the chain links are repetitions of the same geometry, 
that have different orientations in the final assembly. Next, decide for each component whether to build from scratch or start with primitives. We can use cylinders as starting points of gears, piston set and shafts. Think about the feature to use. For each gear, the teeth are all the same. We can create a cylinder and then cut a profile of a single tooth out of it. Then we can pattern that shape to complete the gear. Or uh, to create the valve spring, we could uh, extrude a circle along an helical path. How to reduce the tasks? We identify the repetitions so that we can create only one object from scratch and then copy it to create the next one and save time. This can be done for pistons, valves, cams and so on. Once we have all the pieces, we can think about how to assemble the components and finally complete the model. With this course, you will learn how to perform logical modeling to build your design. You will also explore and understand how to use advanced solid modeling techniques to finally become an expert in CAD design.